News at 11. It's been a week since Corvallis teen Ava Carey went missing and the search is growing by the day. Thank you for joining us. I'm China Green. KEZI 9 News reporter Connor McCarthy spent the evening in Corvallis and tells us where the search stands tonight. This week has been, I can honestly say, the hardest week of my life. Her daughter, 16-year-old Ava Carey, has not been seen since last Thursday. Night is really hard. I, I think, where's Ava sleeping? Where's my girl? Did she eat? Is she scared? Who has her? But hope is still present. Our dear Father in heaven, we come before thee as a community uh, of different beliefs, feelings, but united in an effort to unite our prayers and our actions and our efforts to bring Ava home. Thursday, Corvallis police announced the search is widening. Every agency in the Mid Valley is now working on this. Including the FBI. We don't have specific information that a crime has necessarily occurred, um, but at this point we're not ruling anything out, and we want to make sure we are utilizing all the resources that we have available. Corvallis police also launched this new online form Wednesday for people to send in tips about Ava's whereabouts. As we scroll through, you can see there are multiple spots where you can fill out exactly what you saw. But police say if you think you actually saw her, call police immediately because time is valuable. Posters, yard signs, and billboards of Ava's face are showing up all along the West Coast. Ava's mother says police are receiving an average of 50 to 60 tips a day. We have community members, people we haven't met in different states, who are at their own expense printing flyers and taking time to go hang them up. It's, it's remarkable. With so many people looking for Ava, hope is shining just as bright as Ava's smile. Reporting in Corvallis, Connor McCarthy, KEZI 9 News. Connor.